Hello guys, welcome back to another video. So as you can see, I'm currently on the bike at the moment. A hard session is about to go down. It is an anaerobic conditioning set. The session length is about an hour and a half. I'll pop, this, pop up the screen now so you guys can see. Anyway, that's not the purpose of today's video. What I thought I would do before I started was take you through a bit of a review of my new wheel set, which I've had for a little while now, and I've tested, tried, and really liked them. So they are the Hunt Aerodynamicists, and they're 62 mil deep. Now, I've opted for slightly shallower than previously, so in the, in the past I've ran 85 mil fronts, and the Hunt do have a deeper option. I just chose something a bit shallower, because I've just found I've been blown around previously, and it's something I've had to think about and actively try and like, counteract. So when I'm racing, I'm tucked in and I'm pushing power. I don't want to have to be thinking about the wind and what a big gust of wind comes and twitches me around. Now, on the rear, it doesn't matter. You're sat on the wheel, so you can be as deep as you want. You can run a disc and you're not really going to feel it. Whereas in the front, because there's not much sort of, I guess, weight over the front end, you'll find that it's very, very twitchy. Um, now, the lighter you are as a rider, the more of an effect this has on you. So if you're a lot heavier, you can probably go deeper on the front. But I just chose for a 62 because I just thought it was a good compromise between having good aerodynamics but good control of the bike at the same time. And I think that's something that is important. You do need to have control because I think the more comfortable you are and the more comfortable on the bike you feel, the better you're going to ride. Like it's no good having a deeper wheel, which yes is more aerodynamic, but if you're uncomfortable with it, what's the benefit of riding it? And also this can be used in training as well. Like it's a good balance between being able to use them on the roads here my training sessions and be able to race on them as well. Look, if I had more money or even better, I had a sponsorship, then yeah, of course I'd run a, a different array of wheels. But as it is, I think this is a good balance. Now this leads on to my first point, which I think these wheels are incredible for. Like the smoothness and the efficiency and how they feel on the roads. Now, I live in the UK. The weather's awful. It's windy. It's rainy. The road surface is atrocious. And these wheels run absolutely incredibly. I don't get blown around, as I was saying previously. I feel smooth and efficient in, on the bike. And they're just a really comfortable, fast wheel set where my speeds are much quicker, the same power. And I'm just feeling like I'm getting in a, room, in, in a, like a groove and a rhythm. I'm just sort of ticking the climate off. Now, if I can run these on the UK roads, you can pretty much run them anywhere in the world. So that's the first point. The second point is the aerodynamics. They are absolutely incredibly aerodynamic at an extremely affordable price as well. So these wheels are you know, half the price of the top end zip range, Envy's, Mavic's, yet they test faster than them in the wind tunnel. I'll put the data on the screen now and talk you through it a little bit. So on the left of your screen now you'll have the 62mm depth wheel and on the right you'll have the 82mm depth wheel. The 82mm depth wheel is faster than all the other brands including the DT Swiss, MVs and the Zips and it has the lowest drag coefficient. However with the 62s it's bang in the middle, faster than the Zips and the DT Swiss and just a tiny bit slower than the MVs and the Rovals. So you can see how competitive these wheels actually are and it's a fraction of the cost. It's absolutely awesome and I think they're absolutely great. Now, one of the reasons for this is the super wide rim. So what you'll see is that the width of the actual wheel is very wide. This means that it sits very flush to the actual back frame of the bike. So it's not got a lot of room for that wind to come through. Now, there's other reasons for the increased aerodynamics from this wider rim as well. But I'm not 100% sure, so I'm not going to go into that much detail on it. But on the HUD website, there's lots of information on it. So if you want to go and sort of have a look at that in more detail, go and take a look. I'll put a link down in the description below so you can go and uh, sort of check that out. The third thing is they're tubeless compatible. So you can run tubeless, run those lower tyre pressures, that's much more comfortable and you have that lower rolling resistance. Now, if you don't want to do that and you want to stick to sort of your inner tube, your latex inner tubes, that's fine, you can still do that. But you've got the option on these wheels to run both of them. And I think that's a great option to have. Now those are the three things that I thought I'd just talk about today because they're the three things that I've really sort of felt have been really good and superior to the wheels I've had in the past. Now if you've enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel and I'll see you guys in the next one.